welcome back again students to another video lesson. So our previous lesson is uh, the representation of uh, rational functions in real life situations. So for this particular particular video lesson, ang pag-aaralan natin naman dito is yung pagkakaiba ng rational functions, equations, and inequalities. So I hope familiar naman sa inyo yung functions, equations, and inequalities. But in here, we will be talking about rational functions, equations, and inequalities. So for our lesson objectives, first, we will review rational expressions. So nung grade 8 kayo, o nung junior high school nyo, napag-aralan nyo na yung rational algebraic expressions. So ire-review lang natin siya. And then of course, we will distinguish among rational functions, rational equations, and rational inequalities. So, titignan natin kung ano ba yung pagkakaiba-iba ng mga uh, given terms na yan. So, to start the discussion, so let us review rational expressions. So, when we say rational expression, it is a ratio of two polynomials such that the denominator is not equal to zero. In symbols, we we'll write it as p over q, where p and q are polynomials and q is not equal to 0. So again, why is it q should not be equal to 0? Kasi kapag naging 0 yung ating denominator, makakakuha tayo ng sagot na undefined. Okay, or indeterminate. So here are examples of rational expressions. For example, number 1, 8x over 5. So, Kung titignan natin, uh, ano ba yung value ng p dyan? That is 8x. And then, yung q natin is 5. So, kung makikita nyo, yung ating denominator, hindi siya 0, kundi 5 siya. So, therefore, we can say that this example is a rational expression. Next, we also have 2x cubed over 11. So, yung ating denominator, hindi siya 0. 11 siya. So, this is also a rational expression. Now, 9 all over x minus 5. So, kapag tinanong ko kayo, uh, what must be the value of x to make the given rational expression undefined? Okay. So, anong, anong number yun ang dapat nating i-substitute in place of x para maging 0 yung ating denominator? And that is 5. Napag-aaralan natin sa mga susunod na lessons natin. Next, we also have x plus 9 all over x plus 4. This is also a rational expression. Last one, x squared plus 3x minus 9 all over x minus 2. So, yung ating given uh, expression, yung kanyang numerator, is uh, a quadratic polynomial. While uh, linear polynomial naman yung kanyang denominator. So, after we review rational expressions, let's move on to rational equations. A rational equation is an equation which involves rational expressions. So, kapag sinabi nating equation, okay, so usually makakita tayo ng equal symbol. And then, usually ang equation equal to zero siya. Wherein, uh, merong mga particular values na dapat isatisfy niya yung both sides of the given equation. Okay. And then, uh, kailangan din dito ang denominator ng ating uh, rational equation is not equal to 0. So, kasi kapag naging 0 nga yung isa man o yung mga terms ng ating uh, rational equation, hindi po yun uh, makukuha na ng solution. Next, let's have examples of rational equations. So, for, for example, number 1, 1 over x plus 3 over 5x is equal to 2 over 3x. So, ito, yung 1 over x, 3 over 5x, 2 over 3x, rational expression po yan. And then, paano siya naging equation? Ayan, yung nakikita natin sa gitna. Okay, the equal symbol. So, kasi kapag rational expression siya, wala po siyang equal symbol. Next, we also have 5 over 2x is equal to 4 over x plus 2 minus 6 over 7. So, ano yung mga rational expression na nakikita nyo dyan? 5 over 2x, 4 over x plus 2, 
and 6 over 7. 6 over 7 is a fraction. Okay. So, by the way, to refresh you with rational number. So, ipapaalala ko lang ulit ang rational number. Ang rational number ay isa siyang number na kung saan pwede nating express in the form of a over v. So, kapag ang given, hindi natin siya pwedeng express as uh, in the form of a over b. So, hindi natin pwedeng sabihin na rational number yon. So, last example, we have 5 over 3x plus 1 plus 4 over 3x minus 1 is equal to 6. So, ayan. Yung 5 over 3x plus 1, rational expression yan. 4 over 3x minus 1, rational expression siya. And then, so itong 6 ba to? Rational number ba yan? Yes, because we can express 6 in the, uh, as the form of a or in the form of a over b. 6 over 1, where 6 is the numerator and 1 is the denominator. So after we've discussed rational equations, let's move on to rational inequalities. So we have there the prefix in. So pag sinabi nating in, means not. So hindi sila equal. So walang pagkaka uh, tulad. So, a rational inequality is an equality which involves rational expressions. Again, nag involve pa rin siya ng rational expression. However, so hindi na natin dito makikita yung equal symbol. It's because inequality nga ang ating pinag-uusapan. So, ano ang mga makikita nating symbols dito? So, the first one, less than. And then, uh, greater than. What else? Less than or equal to or greater than or equal to and also the not equal symbol. So, let's have examples of rational inequalities. So, 1 over x is greater than 2 over x plus 3. So, yung inequality symbol na ginamit natin dito is greater than. Next, we also have x minus 1 all over x is less than 6 over 2x plus 5. So, yung ating inequality symbol naman dito is less than. Next, 2x plus 1 all over x plus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. So, dito, ang pinagkaiba ng greater than sa so greater than or equal to Okay? So, syempre, meron na siyang equal symbol. Hindi lang siya basta greater than, meron siyang equal to. Okay? So, paano yon? Greater than or equal to. Next, the last one, 5x minus 1 all over 6 is less than or equal to 8 over x. So, yung ating uh, inequality symbol dito ay less than or equal to. Okay. So, for example, uh, sinabi ng teacher mo na uh, you have to get at least uh, 85 as the passing grade. Okay. So, kapag sinabi niya, uh, ginamit niya yung word na at least, ibig sabihin, uh, equal sa 85 o kaya pwede pang tumaas. Pwede 86, 87, hanggang perfect score na, uh, perfect grade na 100. So, our last uh, topic will be rational functions. So, rational functions, na-define na siya dun sa ating previous video. So, i-define lang ulit natin siya. So, a rational function is a function of the form f of x is equal to p of x all over q of x where p of x and q of x are polynomial functions and q of x is not a zero function. So, kagaya din ng rational expressions, rational equations, okay? So, kapag ang ating uh, denominator ay nag-equal to zero, so, undefined yung ating sagot. So, wala po kasi tayong makukuwang sagot kapag ang ating mga denominator or ang denominator ng ating given na uh, expression, equation, function ay equal to 0. So, examples of rational functions. So, kapag functions ang pinag-uusapan, usually makikita nyo dito yung f of x, the function of x. So, pwede rin namang ibang variable. g of x, p of x, h of x. 
So for example, f of x is equal to x plus 1 all over x plus 3. We also have f of x is equal to x plus 1 all over x squared minus 3x plus 6. And f of x is equal to 2x squared plus 5x plus 1 all over x squared plus 2x plus 4. So, take note, a rational equation or inequality can be solved for x values that satisfy the equation or inequality. So, kapag uh, sa next, uh, next video natin, pinag-aralan natin kung paano pag-solve ng rational equations and inequalities, meron lang pong specific na values of x na nagsasatisfy dun sa given equation or inequality. So, hindi lahat ng values ng x ay Pwede. Okay. While rational function naman, a rational function expresses a relationship between two variables such as x and y. Okay. So, and then we represent rational function by a table of values or a graph. Okay. Yun ang pinagkaiba naman ng rational function. So, nire-represent natin siya using table, yung x and y. So, kung matatandaan nyo, yung ating previous video na meron tayo doon graph. Okay, so yun ang tamang pag-represent ng rational function using table of values or a graph. So, for our next lesson, solving rational equations. So, sa module ng DepEd, so, pagkasama ang solving rational equations and rational inequalities. So, dito sa aking video, Isa separate ko silang dalawa para mas maintindihan nyo kung paano nga ba isolve ang rational equation at inequality at ano ang pinagkaiba ng kanilang mga solutions. And then, aside from that, syempre, magbibigay din ako ng mga real life word problems. So, hindi lang sapat kasi yung sinosolve natin yung solution ng given equation, ng given function. So, mas maganda rin kung meron siyang application ng real life word problems. So yun lang, maraming salamat.